Hello, it's United States Senator Cory Booker, and I'm so excited to be with you today for Read Across America. But my excitement is double because not only do I get to read to you, but I also get to read to you an author of this book, Freedom Soup. And this author is actually named Tammy Charles, and she is from my community. She grew up in Newark, New Jersey, where I actually was mayor. And so here we go, this exciting book, Freedom Soup. I now read it to you. Freedom Soup by Tammy Charles. I'm excited. Today is New Year's Day. I get to help make Freedom Soup. T. Grant says, I've got a heart made for cooking and it's time I learn how. And here they are in the kitchen. Look at the grandma dancing in the kitchen and the granddaughter coming into the kitchen to join on in. Outside, snow is piling cottony thick. Inside, warm, sweet air flows. Haitian kampa pours through the speakers the shake, shake of the maracas vibrates down to my toes. Tigran's feet tap, tap, tap to the rhythm. I love it. They're dancing in the kitchen. I've danced in the kitchen. I hope you have too. We pause our dancing and Tigran says, first Bella is a piece. She places the pylon between my knees. Click, clack, click, clack. Together, we mash the garlicky herbs to the kampa beat. Then we add it to our meat and let it rest. So this is what they're using to mash up the herbs. Next is your favorite, the pumpkin. Tigran smiles and pulls it out of the boiling water. Ribbons of steam dance up to the ceiling. She lets me peel the pumpkin. The skin melts off like butter. Then Tigran browns the meat in a new pot and gathers the rest of the ingredients. Pumpkin, herbs, potatoes, carrots, cabbage, celery. Your turn, she says. One by one, I slide the ingredients into the bubbling liquid. The pumpkiny garlic smell swirls all around us. There they are chopping the vegetables. I love vegetables. And here they are putting it into the pot. She's doing a great job. Know why they call it Freedom Soup? T. Grant asks. Because it's free? It's the same answer I always give. T. Grant laughs, her loud belly deep laugh. Oh, Bella. Nothing in this world is free, not even freedom. She begins to tell a story, the same one she tells every year, a story of the place she was born, Haiti. Long ago, my country was a land of sugarcane and coffee fields, and my people were slaves, working under the fiery sun growing vegetables, making soup for their masters, soup they were never allowed to eat themselves. Freedom soup was only for the free. No soup for New Year's? My face feels hot. And then what happened, I asked. Years passed. The slaves' hands were tied. Spirits shattered. Blood Shed, freedom stolen, pride gone. Enough was enough. It was time to fight and win back their freedom. The trumpet blares, I hear it, Tigran. The revolution is here. The kampa beat drums through my skin. I see them, the fire dancing in their eyes as they fight to take back what is theirs. And here you see the two of them in the kitchen, the story winding around their spirits. And then you see here the fighting, the soldiers, the revolutionaries. I see the colors of freedom, the tan streets of Port-au-Prince covered 
in broken black chains, kettles of hot yellow soup, a sweet pumpkiny garlic aroma fills the air. I see T. Grant's people, my people, eating soup to celebrate the end of slavery, eating soup to celebrate the start of freedom. We clap our hands and sing to the sky, Haiti is free, freedom soup for everyone. Tigran lowers the flame while I throw in the pasta. My grandmother taught this tradition to my mama, who taught it to me. I taught it to your mother, and I'll teach it to my children one day. Tigran's dark eyes smile as we rest in the living room, and she pulls me real close. And they'll share it with everyone who'll come after. The pumpkin garlic smell scents the air as cousins, uncles, and aunts arrive and dance. We share stories of Tigran's faraway island and taste freedom again and again and again. What a lovely soup you made, Bella, they say. I puff out my shoulders wider than the Haitian mountains, stand so tall I can almost touch the moon. Here's the family gathering around, eating it all. So wonderful. All around, just like my family, people gather and share. In our house, we celebrate until the last drop of soup is gone, gone gone. What a wonderful story. And then amazingly, at the very end of the book, they actually put the recipe for the soup so that you can make this great soup yourself. I love cooking. I love using vegetables and making stews. This story, though, talks about food's connection to our culture, to our heritage, to bonding families, and to us. I wish you all the best. Keep reading. And I know as a senator, if you wanna be a leader, you gotta be a reader. Take care now.